I in, started incorporating the row. Um, mm. That's I watched a couple of the videos on it, and so I assume the row kind of helps the deadlift, correct? Yeah, is that, yes, is that no. the complete question? No, yeah, no. Yes. I, so, yeah. so I would say, so yeah, like row helps the deadlift. So like, what are some other exercises? Like if I, I assume like if I want to help bench increase or overhead press, what are some other good exercises to kind of throw in there at some point? Yeah, in time if I yeah so, so, so one thing to keep in mind with the row specifically, particularly if you're running the novice linear progression like you are, where you're mm -hmm. going up and adding weight, is yes, the row does help the deadlift, but one of the ways that it helps the deadlift and the main reason is so that you're not deadlifting 455 three times a week. So the yeah. load is much lighter, right? Well, like what did you row? Probably 215. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Right. So, so the row, you still have to set your lumbar into extension. You still got to, you know, use your quads to break the thing off the floor. Then you get mm -hmm. some arm work out of it, but it's, so you still get to use the muscles that you use in the deadlift, but it's much lighter. And so it's a great thing to do instead of the deadlift. So that what, if you train the deadlift heavy or you try to three times a week, it would just f stall. And okay. Fall. So and it's so, just like so taking a break from reduce, it. Yeah. Reduce the frequency. But outside of that, I mean, there's a lot of people that really like to do stuff off the pins. So like if you're really into overhead press, people like to pin press. The press generally fails like above the forehead as you get it back over the shoulder. So people will set up in that awkward position where you have a really bad kind of like mechanical uh, position to start from and you have to, you know, do it. Same thing on the bench press. Even Jen Thompson last week talked about, you know, pressing up the bin, uh, the pins a little bit. People rack pull. I'm not a huge fan of those The for the bench. I generally, after people have been training for a while, I like that in a close grip bench press. So it's, you know, literally just like it sounds, it's basically like a press grip. So right yeah. the knurling, maybe a little longer. And what that does is it brings your elbows in a lot more. Uh, more so tricep. Like, you know, more tricep, right? So yeah. which then helps your bench press and your press. So that's, I mean, that's the one I usually throw in uh, for people. If people do actually power clean, um, I like to, you know, so they're like somewhat in the CrossFit ish, you know, Olympic style lifting. Then I'll often give them a push press um, just because it, while, while you use your legs to get it up, you do strengthen your lockout because you're lifting more load overhead than you okay. would on a, on a traditional press. But those are kind of the two that I, I mean, there's plenty, there's tons, but those are the two when I'm looking at basic people, you know, lifting three days a week for, 60 to 70 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, like a lot of my lifters that are super consistent, they'll bench on Monday, they'll press on Wednesday and they'll close grip bench press on Friday. And it's just, uh, you know, they get a little variation. Are you still adding weight to the bar, like on the, the row every time, or is it just a percentage of what you deadlifted? Well, I mean, if the deadlift's going up and it's a percentage of what you deadlifted, that will go up. But y yes and no, I, I often tell people to shoot for like six to eight reps. And so when you start rowing, maybe you're doing three sets of eight, and I don't know, let's say you're doing 185, three sets of eight, and you're adding five pounds and you get to 220 and you get eight, seven, six. I'm like, hey, don't sweat it. Just don't let it go below three sets of six. And then someone might be between 240 and 250 for three sets of six for a month. And like, that's okay. Like, you know, we're, it's not, it's not as important for more load on the bar. It's to take off the stress, stress from the deadlift. Yeah, I got exactly. you. Yeah. That's it. That was my question.